everyone, it's Kidu, and in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Lelouch's new, actually I don't really know what his figure is called, but I've just been calling him the 2019 Lelouch from Code Geass. It's by Gem, again, as all of his figures are. If you're interested in seeing the other videos I've done of figures by Gem, of Code Geass stuff, I will leave those in the description below so you can check those out if you're interested. This is how it was packaged. They always package them in like two boxes if that makes sense but they put bubble wrap on it um i actually ordered him from naponia sound and if any of you remember i've had issues with that company only once but they pretty much ignored my issue 100 percent, and didn't help solve it so i was also surprised at myself that i ordered from them again but they were the only people who had this item available that i could find anyways um yeah so they actually packaged it in like this box and it had like a double lining of cardboard, which I'm really happy about actually because unfortunately the box got kind of like stabbity stabbed. But that's okay because it is in this. So we're just gonna rip open all of this real quick. So I always put them in this other really tight box, the actual figure boxes inside. Um, and unfortunately, the box is always super tight so it's such a struggle for me to get the freaking kate like the figure box out of this outer box every single time Ooh, they put this one in the paper they covered it with paper and it slides out easier that way that took a while I like when they come in those boxes, kind of, because then when I store it away, it's kept away from the dust. I want to get like a sheet to cover my other figure boxes. Anyways, let's continue. Okay, so now that that's finally out, this is what the box looks like. Um, so it is Lelouch in his Zero outfit, but it is a new updated figure, so he's in um, sort of a new pose. And he's going to have like a whole new sculpt and everything, uh, which I'm really excited about. And new paint, blah, 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 blah of course. So this is what the box looks like. I probably shouldn't have bought this one considering I do own their old, or their reprint of their really old figure of Lelouch in his Zero outfit. But I caved because this one is nicer and updated and it's really pretty. So this is what the box looks like. Very cool. There's an indent there. I'm angry. So uh, yeah, there's tape stuck to the bottom. So let us open him up, shall we? I have a feeling he's gonna stink. And we will find out. Oh, oh, he's a stinky one. But I kind of love it. So here is how he is packaged. We've got Lelouch in all of his glory here, his two face plates on either side of him. We have his helmet masked head version. Um, we've got his base that matches the other figures of this series, kind of. And then we have an extra arm piece here. So I'm just gonna cut on the tape and open him up. I literally don't have room for him. Um, I have one figure shelf that I use for all of my Code Geass figures. And um, it's full. I've already had to take off like a bunch of accessories on the figures I have just so that they can all fit together. So I don't know where this is going to fit, but I'm going to have to figure it out. Yeah, for some reason the plastic's kind of oily. I don't think I've ever experienced that before. Has anyone else experience that and does anyone else have this figure when they open it up they also found the plastic oily i don't know am i crazy i don't like that because i don't want to get grease on the figure itself so let's get the base out here is what the base looks like it says zero code kiosk lelouch of the resurrection oh this was for the movie that they made okay i understand now um yeah for the new movie code kiosk lelouch of the resurrection that's cool I'm dumb. I don't know why I didn't realize that that's what it was for. Would make sense, wouldn't it? So there's actual little drops of, like, grease on him, which is quite bizarre to me. I mean, I should be able to just wipe them off, but I don't like it getting into the PVC because I'm not sure if this is true, but I feel like the PVC is maybe slightly porous. I don't know. Or you know what? Maybe the oil's on... I don't know if you can see, like, the 
the difference of this plastic part to this plastic part like this is actually oily I'm shook okay so he's packaged like this like so covered in um, all this fun stuff so I'm gonna pull him out set him on his base and then we'll pull out all of his extra parts I don't know why this is so greasy like the whole thing so this is the boy. This is my boy. He's got his weird little beetle-like back cape. I love him. And then the big cape. Ooh, it's so big and out there. He's not going to fit in the case with the rest of the figures, is he? I just know it. How do I get this off? Probably have to pull his head off and pull the thing off. And, you know, there's lots of plastic keeping him from touching things and protecting him. You know, I'm really excited. There's like oil marks on him. Where are they coming from? Someone explain. School me. I don't know if I just wanted to keep it from drying. That makes no sense. I'm trying to keep it from drying out. Like, what's going on? It's plastic. I love how his pants just like are his boots. <laughs> Look at that. It's great. I feel awkward holding him like this, and I don't want to. I should put him on his base so he's, like, solid. So he's going to go like this, this foot, on this part. Where's the, the pegs? And then this foot here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, putting their feet in the pegs is always, like, harder than you think it's going to be. Because sometimes they're at a funny angle like this one. So because his foot is, like, angled like this, the peg is angled. So, like, trying, you want to put it on straight, but it doesn't go on straight anyways. So I'm going to pop this off now. I assume pop the head off, then you take the plas the cape, and then the plastic, and then you know what I mean. But I'm going to do that right now. Oh, that was a little tight, but we got it. We got him. going to pull that plastic off, put it on in here. This is what his default face looks like. It's very hard to see. I will do a closer look of him, of course. So I will link that in the description below as well. So you can take a look. There's some more grease on his head. I don't understand where it's coming from. He's so pretty. Their eyes look so nice. Anyways, yeah. This is by Jem, if I didn't mention that already. We're going to move on to taking the cape off. So we got the cape off. Here's the plastic in between. There's fucking grease marks on it. I don't know how. And this is the part that always makes me sad because I'm always so concerned that I'm going to get paint transfer when I put the cloak back on to his shoulders, but I ain't got a choice. Hopefully this one sits a little better because the last figure that they had, because the last figure that they had, um, unfortunately his cloak like fell backwards a bit. So it ended up kind of like up against his face kind of. Um, actually this one seems not bad. Like it does still pull back a bit because of the weight, of course. Um, but it seems that it's caught enough on the front that it's not too bad. Okay, without his head, does this just look like Dracula? Anyways, so we have the <laughs> zero helmet here. Very nice. They actually made like a full scale replica of this thing. You couldn't wear it, but it was just like a prop. It was so cool. I really wanted it, but I think it was like $400 or something ridiculous. And I was like, ain't gonna happen, buddy. So that's that. I'm actually very tempted to put the Zero Helmet on this one. I do want to show his face, but I already have the other figure of him with his like helmet off and his eyes all like lit up and whatever. So I'm kind of tempted to put it with just the zero helmet on. I'll show you the other expressions. So we have, oh my God, it's greasy. <laughs> so we have like his yelling face with both eyes lit up and he has the Gios symbols on both eyes. You can't really see because his camera is absolute garbage. Um, yeah, he's real pretty. And we will show you his other face. This one's even greasier. Like, I don't know if you can see. Do you see the, like, oil on the plastic? And when I wipe it away, it wipes away for the most part. See? I'm just so confused. I know I haven't shut up about it, but, like, I don't... 
I fucking wash my hands like multiple times before these videos so I don't get any like finger oils on the figures. And then um, the figure is giving itself finger oils. And here's this other yelling face with just one eye lit up. And then the other one is him with no eyes lit up. It's just his purple eyes. So we've got three different heads to play with. Play with? You know what I mean. Pose. And we have one extra arm piece <laughs> that's also greasy. <laughs> this one here, it is in a fist. So his arm here is actually to hold the helmet. I didn't think for a second I thought he didn't have like a helmet holding pose. Because uh, I don't know. Because uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't ask. Um, so here we have this arm which switches with this arm. So if you have the helmet on, um, he'll just look like his arm's down. So that's cool. Um, but the helmet here, which I think I just realized, by the way, he has no instructions. So I'm kind of just guessing. <laughs> God, that took a while. I thought I was going to break it for a second and I was going to be real sad. But yeah, so the actual like chin neck part comes off. So then it is now also the helmet that he can hold. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I think that's the best I can do. It's not, like, really sitting in his hand properly because, I don't know, the helmet's, like, too wide to put him in his hand properly, if that makes sense. Um, I should probably put a head on him, but I do want to see what he looks like with his, with the helmet on. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that quick. I love the gold, oh, he's so nice. Look how shiny he is in this light. Sorry, it is literally, like, 5 a.m. right now. <laughs> what am I doing in my life? I don't know. Don't we all ask ourselves that? Isn't that cool? I kind of want to pose him like this. Well, with, like, the, the proper arm on this side, of course. But yeah, I kind of want to pose him like this because I really like the helmet and the way he looks is super cool. But, like, it's also cool to see him holding it with his head. So, I'm undecided. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Yeah, no, he, he's so, I was gonna say, he's so handsome. He is, even with the helmet. But like, like, look how cool he is. Look how nice the purple is. Ooh, and purple's my favorite color, so like, come on. It's very nice. I'm really tempted to pose him like that. Just to contrast, because I have his face on all the other ones, and I'd love to just see him as zero. But the new faces are so nice, and like the hair is shaded so well too, so I'd really like to show that as well. So I don't know. I think I might pose him like this, but I will show you guys all of his face plates, or like, not face plates, different head pieces in the closer look as well so you can see a better look of the faces, although they won't be on his body. So that's pretty much it for this unboxing. Uh, that's everything he comes with. He didn't come with any instructions, which I find, like, not necessary, but it would have been nice to, I mean, I, I got it. It didn't take that long. It took me, like, two minutes, but, y you know, it would have been nice for some people and, like, maybe me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is what he looks like. I will be swa swa swatching, swapping out that arm. Um, I really like the way the cape turned out. Like, look how much shaded underneath real nice so if you want to see a closer look at this one with like a more close look if that makes sense ignore me check out the description below for that one um i'm so excited he's not gonna fit i don't know where to put him this is much too wide i have to figure something out yeah i think he's real pretty Ooh, i'm excited Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll link his closer look in the description below. All of the other uh, Code Geass figure unboxings and closer looks I've done in the past as well in the description below. So check those out. And my affiliate links to Shiji Japan and Tokyo Tuck Mood. Thank you guys so much for purchasing things through, things through those links. I really appreciate it. I get a small commission. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, they've come my hours of work. So every, every little thing helps. You guys can also check out my social media, which is also down there. So yup, yup, yup. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!